Preparation options are the choices or modifiers that can be applied to sales items so that a kitchen or bar can prepare the item as per the member or guest desires. Common prep options can be instructional, example bread variations of whole wheat, white, or rye, or additive, such as burger toppings, side dishes for entrees, special requests, or substitutions. Prices can be assigned to prep options that add to the base price of a sales item. Prep options are attached to a preparation option menu, each of which can hold up to 24 prep option choices, and a prep option menu is attached to a sales item, which can hold up to six menus, therefore a total of 144 options. To report on prep options, we created the concept of preparation items. So these are the first things you need to define when setting up prep options and linking them to sales items. These will be added to a preparation option menu. Alternatively, you can navigate directly to the preparation option menu design and create prep items at the same time as designing the prep option menu. To create a preparation item, you'll want to start by navigating over to point of sale, system setup, and preparation items. From here, we're going to go ahead and choose set up another preparation code. And enter a code into the preparation item field with a maximum of six characters. Next, you have your description. We have the ability to add up to two lines of description with a max of nine characters per line. The description can be used to pre-fill the prep option menu choice cells. So, for example, we have bacon. You can also use a price, which will be used as the default when pre-filling a prep option choice cell. So let's go ahead and put $1. The bottom you have print on chit if $0. Decide if you would like the prep item to appear on the chit along with the sales item sold if the prep item has a zero value. If a sales item has indicated that all prep options should be rolled up into the selling price of the item, set via the accumulated option prices field within the sales item, then separate listing of prep options on the chit will not appear. After you've entered all the settings, go ahead and click OK. Now if we navigate back into a preparation item, I just want to point out that if you ever need to go in and make changes, you can go ahead and click update prep options on the right and it'll allow you to force changes to the descriptions and prices. Now that we've learned how to create a preparation item, let's head over to how to create a preparation option menu. So go ahead and exit out of here. And we're going to go ahead and choose the preparation option menu design. So just a friendly reminder that prep items can be pre-created using the steps we just looked at or created on the fly during the creation of a prep option menu. To create a new menu, we're going to go ahead and select set up another prep option code, where we can start by entering a code with a max of six characters. Next, you have a description, which indicates what this prep screen will contain. There is a maximum of 24 cells in a menu, and each cell is divided into four fields. The two button descriptions will be found on the left-hand side. The top right hand corner will be the price and the bottom right hand corner will be the code of the item. To add prep items, you can use one of the following options. If you want to use an existing prep item, we're going to go ahead and click in the prep item field and click F2 to open our lookup list, where we can go ahead and choose the item. The button description fields, price and code will populate after selection of that preparation item. If you want to add a new prep item, select the prep item field, click your F2 to pull up that lookup list, and simply use the option to create a new preparation item. This will allow you to complete those same steps of creating a preparation item. Lastly, if you don't use prep item codes, you can enter a description and a price. So for example, we have NATO our price is zero and then for the code you're simply going to click enter and a dummy code will be populated for you as a placeholder. From here you can go ahead and continue creating as many prep option choices as you want with that maximum up to 24 choices. 
After you've added all your options, we're going to go ahead and click OK. But just before we do that, I want to point out this options on the right hand side of the screen. Within options, we can set the number of minimum or maximum number of selections, which control the number of choices that must be or can be selected when using this preparation option menu. This allows for the enforcement of choosing a minimum or maximum number of prep option choices for a sales item at the point of sale terminal to ensure all options are determined before sending the chit to the kitchen for order preparation. If there is no minimum, you can go ahead and put zero. And for example, for the max, if we're only allowing for the selection of one item, you can go ahead and click one. And once the server has selected the item, it will automatically close out that menu and move on to the next one if applicable. So we're going to go, I'm going to actually turn that back to zero. We click OK and OK to save. So now that we have created our preparation option menu, we can add it over to our sales item. So let's close out of here and we're going to navigate over to point of sale, system setup and sales items. From here, you can go ahead and create a new sales item by selecting set up another sales item or choose an existing sales item. In the preparation option menu code section, you can click in the cell and use the F2 lookup list to pull up your preparation option menus. Up to six menus can be attached to a single sales item and the order in which you add them to the sales item determines the order in which they will be asked for by the server. The following settings are optional within a sales item and link over to the prep options. Accumulate option prices. When creating a prep option, you can assign a price as we saw. So for example, 50 cents for cheese. If this field is selected, the chip will display one price, which will include the item price and the prep prices. When this field is not selected, the chip will display the item price with the prep price listed below the item. Then below that, you have minimum number of prep options. If you enter a number in this field, then that number of prep option choices must be selected from all the prep option menus attached to the sales item, not each individual prep option menu. Remember that those minimum and maximum settings are in the prep option menus option section. Once you've added all your menus and adjusted your settings accordingly, go ahead and click OK to save the sales item.